Wuna Wap is here with the Hakak Al Hakak at Actual Facts, or True Past and Our True Caught Our Fate. Most think creation took place in Bible by their God, who shaped, formed, fashioned man like himself, physical from spirit, that is the Adamite story. Not our own story or our Salafu ancestors or deities so know that your DNA, your Yakuzat genes can be changed by so many things outside and inside your body. The Kadamu ancients had elixirs they mixed up and drank and while in their Katat body could transform to humanoid. Venas Tasu you feminon of the planet Earth would become priestess of Hadat Har Tat Hathor to the priest of Amun Rei Amun Ra who spoke for the Niger you overseers and knew when they were coming back to planet Earth and would have rituals for those chosen women to entertain the Kameyu aliens. In exchange drink from the fountain of youth or the tree of extended life and their youth would be restored to them, as long as they did not exchange body fluids with Adam you Adamite who was supposed to only live for 120 years, Genesis 5 3, and Adam lived in 130 years, and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Seth. And this was by the Anunnaki. Yet, in Mekmat Egypt the women could live up to 1000 years and the Zazas you men the same, if allowed by the Niger you overseers and follow their instructions. So living and dying was not as it is today. And those original people were Asha you females 4 feet 5 inches and males was 5 feet 4 inches, however in time there were exceptions to change of form as far as general outline is concerned because humanoids have the basic original form of the original Bashar flesh and Damam blood deities on planet earth and this Wahoo Makwan universe. So it suffices here to state that each race had their gods to represent them and a phase in their growth. Meanwhile you new Wapians of Wunawap you have the sun heat genes. All original Kamam black deities of flesh and blood were black in skin hue or color and once they started to grow wabar hair once out of the waters it grew genuinely kinky hair on their heads by Fatar nature for two main reasons. One, is the effect of Pa Sham Ash the sun who fertilized their melanin and affects the pigmentation of the skin by the amount of a cac ether in the eggs and brings forth the nine ether or full growth being with dark hue and as they grew stronger in genes on earth out the seas, grew black kinky hair called flocule by mundane scientists. Flocculi are the dark spots on the sun consisting of hydrogen. 2. Pa Taha the earth and its rich dark soil as a planet when it first orbited the sun billions of years ago. It was a great orb of burning energies and in time began to finally cool off and down enough for other life forms to appear with activities. However, New Wapi and Yashar family sun heat genes of 9 ether and earth atmosphere, from Greek atmos, vapor plus spherosphere the air surrounding the planet. Its breath or breathe layer of gaseous envelope meteorological, aerial or oxygen. It was so dense and potent, that is so strong that anyone who could survive and it had to have sun-heated genes, lots of melanin, strong amount of pigmentation, earth genes and water genes inside enough to offset or balance the sun-heat genes outside. While living beneath the water, the skin was shiny greenish-bluish, once on dry land began to rust as copper and turn brownish and as the sun burned us onto black. This is why many Kamam Karadju black children even today are born with dark greenish bluish spots over their bodies until they breathe in oxygen then their skin color changes to brown. Just as oxidizes as in burning or rusting, you also suffer oxidation during exposure to air and moisture. Why you see the ancient deities the color of lapis lazuli or like greenish blue as Asar Osiris as well as the Indian deity Krishna. So new Wapians, the sun heat genes activated from your central sun Pa Re A the inner sun in your solar plexus is your divine link inside to the ancient deities who became flesh and blood being. They were so strong and powerful from the illumination of their own inner sun called Nine Ether, they were Muakaku Ethereans. So the water contents therein that is the cause the lapis lazuli skin shiny as sea creatures to become copper tone and then jet black also called blue people, all by melanin. These strong genes are what made you grow kinky hair as babies or used to be born with thin far or fur or curls until they begin to grow stronger than their far or curls tighten to naps or kinks so the weaker the genes, the weaker the hair growth to fur as the Hoenyu animals of earth have. Animals and humans who grew fur or thorns naturally. The very word used in the Bible in Genesis 4-2 where you read, and Abel was a keeper of sheep. Hebrew Strong's number 6629, sands, for sheep, goat, cattle, lamb and flock. It is the same as the Anunnaki called their first genetic tampering or Lulu Amilu in Sumerian, Lu means sheep or flock. Now look at San and the name of the first blacks on earth, South Africa even today called San people so they were called sheep workers, saw as food by the Anunnaki as well as primitive workers which is Amilu workers. Don't believe me check this out so the skin coloring and the hair texture is from sun heat genes to protect the new person who came from the water on dry land from Pa Mishmash the physical sun's own Pa Ray A rays as they roamed the forest of South Africa once out of the swamps and on the Kalahari desert from Okavango swamps. 
and all still do, in the direct descendants of these original deities whose posterity is now called Pa Nagar U or Munger U Negroids or African race with nine species from the original San people, in our language called, Musninyu. The Anunnaki son of Anu named Nudimud or Enki. Anki also called Ea, he whose abode is the sea, being he was the son of Nimu a female draconian he was a homo saurian and he was sent to South Africa to mine the gold for Nibiru. To the Absu or Apsu the Lulu Amilu were the workers after the transported Anunnaki refused to work the mines and Anki being a sea person lived with the mermaids and birthed a son and daughter by them, his mother was of Alalu's people. So he lived with the Sands people who to this day retain the click as they used to speak when underwater, to speak to each other with sonic wave sounds communication underwater dolphins and some whales still use this echolocation or sonar today. This spoken click language is called Kosa. He refused to let the Sands people or Musninyu Sands people be food it was the Gagan or Muganyu garden mantis alien who protected them. Anki decided to make a Lulu Amilu as Adam U or Muadam U Adamites to work, yet be formed for food. His brother and Lil also a son of Anu by a different mother, did not like his plan so when he took over Apsu in South Africa, Anki moved up the Nile to Mekmat Egypt, took another wife named Hes out of the Hadad Hartat Hathor sisterhood and birthed a son, Ningish Zitta, Thoth. These are the deities and by these mixing was nine species born of them Munger U or Nagar U Negroid race in Africa long before the Adam U or Muadam U Adamites and their six species. The Sun, San, Tasan or Sun Gene people, Sand people who had the sun gene when the sun reaches the skin surface of them, and all African by race, they bomb oxygen and turn the skin black or blacker than it already is at birth. This same sun rays will kill the six ether white race with cancer or melanoma skin tumors and death. Many Nagar Unigroid world over now lost their pure sun heat gene by mixing of races. Their power was called Namum Sun Genes or Misnan and are hereditary sun factors of natural nature that arc stronger in nine ether descendants than they arc in six ether descendants. Pa Munger you the pure ones who are Negroid are stronger in 9 ether than they are in 6 ether, even when mixed genes, and these facts account for the 9 species and includes those of 8 ether, 7 ether and even 6 ether women who mix with 9 ether men. Make note of the first people on planet earth, or any planet and you will see the growers of that planet in their flesh and blood composition and form. The two extremes are black and white generating from the same. The expression Negros, Niger, Negro means black, black skin, Melanin and the word absolute in actual fact means complete and perfect. The so-called color Camum Black is the absolute supreme Balansman birther of all colors starting with Zarik Blue Autumn and Safer Yellow Autumn and Hamer Red Amun for they make it complete and perfect for sight and sound. Black is the combination of all natural and unnatural colors pure, as red and mixed as red and yellow makes orange. Therefore, all colors come from dark energy, dark matter or darkness, the condition. The darkness in the Raham womb the condition as during gestation Gaia station, earth station GE station of an embryo and fetus, a sea creature in the Raham womb Camum Negros, Morenos, black is the combination of all the wanted colors as Musninyu, Sands people are the root race of all colors of people on this Mekwak planet. Like Nine Ether is the combination of all Nashadat energies that can exist in absolute nature together at the same time. When the ethnic race of Orb Earth is categorized by color it reads Hue Men Salal you races, and the root of the hue is the Kamam Salal black race, Tuatral you Aborigine or brown race and Indian also brown race, both different hues of brown and the Asian are the safer Salal yellow race also has their hue, or Mongolian. These are the original races or Hue Man on Chi, Ge, Heya, Gaia, Jia and so on together. Then you have the Unsun or Non-Sun gene, the Hamer Red and Laban Salal White race of Yarapu Europeans or Caucasian colorless movers or you lepers there was no race mixing just as with all other animal species on earth, only the tampered with were cross-bred or forced. In the beginning there was no original sex intercourse. So once on land and the time came to grow the egg inside the female's womb, called the uterus, which like an egg the fetus is nourished. So when this time came for people of the sea to come on land to start having organic sex with each other, natural lust and sexual urges came and of course they began having physical sex with each other with those of their own species and race and the result of their opposite sex xx to xy with each other, unity and activity were their first offspring pa up to you ones who pata open the way who were born in the image of the little people of nine different subdivision or species who eventually divided into many other branches as you see and know today all over the Tapal world. Know this new Wapians of Wu Nawap the white race openly says if you have one drop of any other race damn and blood you are not white. I, Pa Nabo, Ya Nan and the Master, Ya Anun further add to that, this if you are not, 1, white thin fur, 2, white iris, eyes, 3, transparent skin pigment fair, or 1, yellow thin fur, 2, blue iris eyes, 3, pale skin pigment fair, or 1, red thin fur, 2, 
green iris eyes, and 3, ruddy, freckle pigment. These six species traits say you're of the white and red race or Adamite and Edomite who later by a curse became lepers. So these are traits of the white race. If you're not of them then you are of us, it's your choice. Originally sex was only to give Lajude birth and procreate a race that you may know and recognize one another, just as a lion and a tiger and a cheetah respects each other as separate species or felines, so also it should have been with humans until the white race crossed the line and started to rape other races of women for audinate pleasures. So Munwap you knew Wapians of Wunawap is the way Paterak, your own way and as I said elsewhere in this papyrus and others, once an original deity is created she or he will continue to survive in one formula and form or another another until this universe dissolves. So Pa Kak as you or Muk as you the Caucasian race spread their diseased Mata sperm around the Depal world. They are in fact the results of grafting and separating and crossbreeding or miscegenation and all their interracial mingling and mixing affects all others mentally, physically, spiritually and sexually. Since their making is Adam on Tammuz the 6th 37 61 BC, they have been the root of all chaos, wickedness, evils, rapes, lies, stealing, war and this was made a part of them by their God as you read in their book of Genesis 3:15. And I Yahweh Elohim Lord of the Gods will put enmity, Iba, hostility, enmity, hate. So the God of Bible and Quran put hate of others inside the seat of the women, Eve, the root of the word is Iban enemy. Do you see he made the Adamite race or the ruddy white race hate all others as their enemies? That is the root of their racism and your genes are now affected by them and their media this does, did and can change your DNA. No faith or belief can erase truth and fact. And today you see and hear the so-called white scientists saying repeatedly on TV and books and magazines because of their curse of amnesia about all things they say, be it religious, scientific, well that may be perhaps, conceivably, possibly, reasonably, we think that may have happened, we believe this or that, it could have been, it is possible, and if so then it sounds like we may find it is, if so myth says looks very much like. They say these over and over only to find out again and again they are wrong, they have no facts to back up their possibilities, maybes, perhaps. They just don't know anything or even remember their own past. They live by hope, faith, belief and not just in religions also in everyday life and living, be it astronomy, astrobiology, ecology, biology, geology, paleontology, genealogy, and neurology. They know nothing, nothing, they only pretend to know and now that the truth is being uncovered and because of computers they can no longer hide the actual facts from the rest of the world, they now again are falling from grace. All they ruled over now see their weakness is Jana's sex and lust, the need to mix their blood with others. As they came near their extinction as a Sanfit species the last and weakest of all races, melanin recessive. Their 400-year program to breed a hybrid Negro started to fail in the 1960s as Mukmam U Blacks started to return to African nappy hair, African dress and artworks. Many started to study Swahili and became Yoruba by religion, speaking with African ancestors as deities, Orisha and back to the African drums. The Laban Salal white race saw that their Negroes who feared them after 379 years of abuse are now forming new groups Black Panthers, Black Muslims, 5%, Black Nationalist, Rastafarians, Black Jews, Black Madonna Christians and others. So the Laban Salal white race had to upgrade their plan to stop the riots and rebelling of their Negroes. So they offered the Blacks fame, wealth more lust and luster. Opened up more jobs, gave them parts in cinema, contracts with Masak Music, a few Black producers. This way they can control what is made public or blocked, be it cinema, commercials, plays, magazines, publications, music, they control public relations and distribution. They choose as casting director who got hired for parts in cinema or commercials. So they decided how long a Negro is in cinema or TV, cinema, what parts they played, when and how they die first, what sports Negroes should be allowed in such as basketball, football, boxing, yet, not hockey or racing cars or golf or tennis yet in time this plan failed, blacks took over in all sports so they changed the rules and now invade a mostly colored races sport, football, they even changed the name to soccer. Nothing he tries works. Yet. The grafting of the hybrid Negro was working so he put in programs to offer Negroes money to promote the image he wanted of blacks. New Negro programs on TV from the 70s to the 2000s Bad Girls Club, Hip Hop Atlanta, and New York, Basketball Wives, Real World, Black Inc. and others for the world to think all blacks live and act like these hybrid American Negroes and Latinos. Even a mixed seed president and political offers and Negro military leaders, yet each is programmed to protect, support, defend the white men's laws. So it took the white devil and white magic religion and the sex force of six ether to make a black devil, in gray magic, in belief, in the image of the beast 400 years, yet, now it's over and his end is now.
Once again like in the 1960s blacks are waking up and seeing them for who and what they are by their unnatural fatar nature and many will return to their religions of Abrahamism, Mosesism, Jesusism, Mohammedism in any and all of their sects. Yet, and still some Negroes are too far gone in their genes by mixing. Epigenetics has taken over their DNA and they really think they're a part of a new race of hybrid Negro or Latinos or Neutronoids. The devil will use and abuse them as they fade out of existence for their 6,000 years ended in 2000 A.D. No one on earth can change that. Yet, if he can make you a muxab or liar, he makes you a muchvaj devil, if he can make you steal, he makes you a devil, if he can make you coddle or kill, he makes you a devil, if he can make you a prostitute, he makes you a devil, if he can make you an alcoholic he makes you a devil. If he can make you a drug addict by medical or legal or illegal he makes you a devil. If he can make you lustful, a loose person, sleep with many, he makes you a devil. If he can make you a pornographic addict or star, he has made you a devil. If he can put you in uniform to obey him he has made you a devil. He has made you a teacher to teach his lies and histories. He has made you a devil. He has made you a religious preacher of his devilishment. If he has made you obey his authority in any way shape or form, his rule over you. If you accept his systems you're under the spell of the devil. All of this has been planned by their makers to have you subject to the Adamite race as they are subject to the Elohim races of aliens. And now with this new black mind in the West such as the gangs. They have fears. Then the new minds in the East, the Islamic terrorist, the new minds in Far East Asian on economic power and as well as Southeast Indians and their ingenious minds. The white race now lives in fear of all others taking over. So they start with killing blacks in America to instill fear of authority and the judicial system by imprisoning most of them while he pays others to be rappers. This will not work as you will see in time the black gene is growing from inside outward, he no longer fears nor respects the white race. And the white Zazas tat you women are gravitating toward the Zazas you men of other races, even Negroids which by their own laws means the end of the white race being their laws say one drop of non-white blood means you're not white. You will see the white males crossing over gender wise from alpha male to female. Gender change will spread in the West, lots have its roots in the cursed seed of Canaanites as you read in their own Bible and Quran Genesis 10 15-19 where you read of Sodom and Gomorrah and Adama. Adama is a form of Adam onto Genesis 19 1-5, and there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter, and they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Jude 19 20 to 30, this is by way of the mixing of the sons of Genesis 9 25 to 27. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. The sons of Japheth were the Greek and Romans Genesis 10 2 to 5 the Isles of the Goyim heathen or Gentiles Acts 11 18 to 20 Ionians. So it's already in their epigenetics just at this last part of the genetic strain they are reverting back and seek to take all others with them. Imprisoning black men is part of that general plan so you must protect your genes. All you see, hear, taste, smell and feel does and can affect your epigenetic and change your mind as well as your body. So you must learn to clean your genes inside out and outside inward or you will be left behind. No belief can overpower facts. The only semblance of life is betrayed by Pa Labansalal the white race was created in their minds over the past 400 years, on TV, novels and cinemas, a made-up fake history of lies of liars, St. John 844. The beginning of their end.